Hey everybody, welcome to day 10. Now this is gonna be a really interesting entry to my daily language diary. So I promised all of you a daily video and that's what I'm gonna do. But this one's really interesting because today I had planned to answer a really, really great question all about my first steps when learning a new language and I was really excited to share my thoughts with you. Now, while I was filming the video, um, there was kind of an emergency at work and so people were kind of pinging me and so I had to stop what I was doing and then go and help fix the issue. I came back, took a deep breath, Okay, gonna do it again. While filming a second time, I got another bunch of messages for another different issue at work. And so I, I tried so hard this morning to make that video, but it was just absolutely constant. Just getting like pinged by people from my job, having to constantly stop what I was doing and just try my best to help solve those issues. So to be honest, I just sat down by my window on the floor and I just thought, man, I just, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do my daily video today. But the thing is, you know what? I promised you all a daily language diary video. And again, I've told you this so many times, but your support and all the comments that I've been receiving, there is like, there's just so much love being shared around all of these videos for the last nine or 10 days. I cannot explain how motivating, how inspiring that has been for me. And so a few minutes ago, I decided to say yes. I decided to say yes to my daily diary, even if it had to be a bit of an unorthodox video. And this actually ties in really nicely to the way that I personally succeed with language learning, but also all the other projects I do and all the other skills that I endeavor to learn, which is saying yes every day. So as many of you know, I have so many other projects. I've been working like crazy to try to finish building journaling for all of you, but I'm also doing data science courses online, learning my languages, all these different things. And so just about every day, I have a choice to make almost every night. It's like, you know what? <sighs> shall I just study Chinese tomorrow? You know, shall I just do my languages tomorrow? Shall I take tonight off um, and just focus on my data science course or something? But you know, languages are an absolute core passion of my life, as is sharing that love for languages with all of you. And so every day I have that choice to make and every day I say yes to language learning. Every day I say yes to studying my Chinese at this particular time. And so I really loved how I was just about to say no to my daily diary video and it's 10 days now, but I said yes. So here we are and I just wanted to try to take this unfortunate situation. It's been one of the worst mornings I mean, it's been, the last two weeks have been super difficult at work. To, this morning was probably the worst in ever. And so this felt like such a wonderful way to take that negative situation, those negative circumstances, say yes, and still find a way to relate that to a really important message of language learning, share that with all of you. And I want to encourage everybody to say yes, say yes today to language learning, to learning something new, and even if you have a trade-off, say yes. Because if you say no today, and then it's like tomorrow, it's like, well, you know, there's always tomorrow, right? I'll get back to this tomorrow. Now, sometimes, of course, there's gonna be times when you just can't do it. But the point is that it's always worth saying yes, if you can, if this is something that you love doing, that you're striving to achieve. So one more time, please join me today saying yes, and let's go learn some languages and have a great time. Thank you all for your support. I'll see you back here tomorrow for a regular daily diary video. I'm giving a virtual hug. This is like a, it's a hug. It's a hug through a screen. <laughs>